me to pack up your encyclopedia collection for leisure reading? Uh, no, Dad. That, that's okay. I, I'm sure I'll have enough reading in freshman English. Okay. Well, if you change your mind, I can always ship them to your dorm room. But you bringing up freshman English reminds me of something I've been meaning to talk to you about. I think we should have the talk. Dad, I'm a little too old to have the talk. No, son, you are never too old to talk about academic integrity. Dad, <laughs> come on, I'm not going to cheat on tests. No, Stu, I'm not talking about that kind of cheating. I'm talking about, about plagiarism. Plagiarism? Um, okay. You see, son, plagiarism is the act of taking another person's work and using it as your own. This includes using the words or ideas of another person as if they were your own words or ideas. Can words and ideas really be stolen? Yes, because words and ideas are intellectual property. And just like a writer, artist, or inventor, the original author stands to benefit from his creation. So... How am I supposed to do research if using other people's words or ideas is stealing? I mean, I can't just make up facts. You can use other people's work as long as you give the original author credit for his or her work. The way you give an author credit is by using citations. You must cite anything you quote, paraphrase, summarize, or refer to in your paper. When you quote a passage word for word, you must use quotation marks around the phrases that are not your own. You must also provide the author's name, the year, and the page number. Okay, yeah, I mean, that, that makes sense, but, but how can I cite and, and not sound awkward when I write? I don't want my writing to be like me when I'm around Sarah McGillicuddy. You can use signal phrases like according to or the author notes that. These phrases can help you transition from quotes to your own words easily. Wow, that's, yeah, that's a really good idea. But what if I rewrite the author's passage in my own words? I mean, I don't have to cite then, right? Most people think that, but what you described is called paraphrasing, and you still have to cite it. It's still the author's idea, and you must give them credit. If you're having trouble paraphrasing, read the passage you want to use, then try to write the ideas in your own words without looking at the passage and compare it to the original. Wow, there's a lot to remember when it comes to plagiarism. I know, son. That's why I wanted you to have this. I know how you kids love the comic books these days. It will help you identify the most common forms of plagiarism. <laughs> uh, wow. Really, Dad? Uh, okay. This story centers around the scholar. A mild-mannered college student by day, and by night a gritty superhero fighting the infamous League of Academic Deviants, or Lode, who rose to power by stealing other people's work. Well, hello there. I'm the leader of Load, Dr. Clone. I have a PhD in English and got it through years and years of cloning other people's work word for word and submitting them as my own. Allow me to introduce my colleagues who are united in destroying academic integrity. Meet, copy, and paste identical twins who copy large sections of another person's work or from multiple sources and then paste it into their own work and don't cite the source. Electronic resources are their favorites. And this is Selfie. That's Miss Selfie to you. I recycle my old papers that I wrote for previous classes, making little or no changes to the original. Some call it self-plagiarism, but I call it looking out for the environment. And last but not least, this is... I'm the aggregator. I cite all of my sources properly, but I wrote little or no original material. Basically, my entire paper is citations. Greetings, villains. I am the Scholar. Now that we've been introduced, I guess there's nothing more to do than lock and load my secret weapon. Oh no, not the student handbook. No. Now I have to export my citations from library databases. No! Now I have to use a system to differentiate between the author's words and my own work while I'm taking notes. Oh! Now I have to actually write my papers! And when I do, I have to stay organized and keep track of where I find different pieces of information. Oh, now we have to photocopy some of our sources and take notes directly on them as to not confuse our work with another. We will return, scholar. You haven't seen the last of us. Huzzah! My work here is done. Remember, students, 
Plagiarism is a thief that steals knowledge away from you. Good luck on your papers. Good luck on your papers, Hark the Scholar. And academic integrity was once again restored to this small, peaceful campus. The end. Thanks, Dad. Now I better understand plagiarism and how to avoid it. You're the best and weirdest dad a kid could have. I know, son. I know. I know.